Hello everybody, Enchanted Ocelot here, and today we are doing yet another mod review. This week's mod, the Mind Painters mod. Link to the mod download will be in the description down below. And yeah, I just was playing around with the mod for a bit. Made some nice decorations before we get into what all of these things do. Let's just show off my house. I got this canvas. Welcome with a rainbow. Let me open my door. I made this little doormat. I have the the uh, carpenter's box mod. Yeah, I totally didn't forget the name. And that's how I'm doing those doors. So these don't come with the mod. These are just some of a little example of some of the things you can get: sculpture pieces and sculpt save sculptures. <coughs> and look at this kitchen. I did it all by hand. There's even a cake in the oven, and burners, and an iPhone charging. I don't know why I did an iPhone, I have an Android. A sink, which has kind of a glitch texture, but we've got this amazing fridge, cords, they don't work. This amazing couch with pillows, a TV on a coffee table, and yet another cord and an outlet. All those amazing, like those ignore those those are from a different mod I've got my desk set up with two different color cords an amazing desk chair just hop on over and sit in it play some video games I got a mouse my bed ignore the bed that has nothing to do with this mod <laughs> and then we got our nice bathroom with a sink and one of those toilets that is like connected to the wall and a shower if I can get in I made this gap really thin, so there's only one way to get it. Okay, there we go. There's a bathtub built completely by hand. I kind of screwed that up. Get back out again. There we go. Nice little barring holding it up. And yeah, just put a computer under there with wires in it. I'm actually proud of this house. It took me a while. I believe the, I guess the thumbnail will be, yeah, never mind. Ignore what I'm talking about. Mumble into myself. Okay, for the first part of the mod, I'm going to start with the front of the house. Oops. I just took a chunk out of that. Well, there's a sneak peek about what the mod does. <laughs> this is the canvas feature of this mod. Let me show you an example. If you place down a canvas, nice white canvas with all these colors on top. You need, you're going to also need a palette, and you right-click the color. You can even do this background, which I should have done before. You can right-click which color that you want, and let's say I want blue. The regular small brush does a one-pixel line, where the regular brush does a three-pixel line that is fuzzy on the edges. And the paint bucket, as you can see, fills the whole canvas. I scared that up. I still don't know how to grab a color for this thing. Whatever. Paint bucket's annoying anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, let me just show you one thing that you can do. Once I grab a color, fill it, you can paint on top of that. So if you want like a starry photo. And yeah, for that's what I use a small, the big brush for and then the little brush for the letters. The next part of this house is our welcome mat. Now, let me show you right over here, and they can't do that in that ground. Let me just put these in here. And yes, Steve just can't ignore it. Let's grab some stone to show this example. Okay, and say I want to make a stone table, right? Well, you can either... Well, first off, this is what you would have to do first. Grab one of the blocks. The stone chisel does a one pixel block. The iron chisel does a one row block depending on the way you're facing. It'll highlight where it's going to do it. So say I want to like a little snip it out like that. A little detail. 3D. Like that. Cool. And the diamond chisel does a whole row. So if I want it to be floating or like connected to a wall, I want to like take off a layer on the side, do like that, 
It is a really amazing mod. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but once you do, it's amazing. Okay, and like you can really, your options are really unlimited. For this one here, I grabbed gray wool and black wool, and once you get these sculpture pieces, which you get from carving off, you can build your own little pieces. So I built a little mat, cut out the pieces that I wanted for the words, and then filled it with the, the wool. The awesome thing about this mod, it's a newer update, you can have multiple of different types of blocks. I can't grab from that. Um, let me show my example. Okay, that will, sure. Multiple of different types of blocks on one piece. Which is how I did that, and as well as the cording. I don't know what happened there. Let me fix that. Where'd it go? Oh, that's where I went. Boop. Boop. Okay. And like with these ones, I individually placed all of those to make a nice design, all these cupboards. Did those using the row feature. Get a little burner, and before filling in the front, I carved out the inside, and then built a little cake inside, put glass in the front, and then a little handle. For this one, cor uh, quartz and c block of coal, and then gray stained clay. That's gray, I think, yeah, whatever. Oh, and, oh, if you middle click on the block, as long as you're using a version of Minecraft that allows that, middle click, and you grab the sculpture. The sculpture. If you break it, you get it as well, even in creative mode. As you can see, I am. And you could, like, say I wanted another make to extend the count. You place that one back. Shift right click. And there's a door there. And boom. You can extend your counter. Without having to get more sculpture pieces. And yeah. This mod can really be unlimited. That is not water. That is uh, blue stained glass. Underneath, and underneath is um, lap lapis blocks. And a lapis block and a red clay right there. Red clay, quartz, rock of coal, chiseled quartz, which is cool. And yeah, the options for this mod are really unlimited, it seems. It's crazy. Like, cause in the, the one of the first, up, I don't remember when they added it, but the first uh, version of this mod that, came, that they came out with, you cannot have more than, you cannot have a different material on the same block as it. And now you can. Which expands this mod so much further than it already has gone. Had been gone. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like a little sink there, and it looks like it's full of water because of the texture glitch. But it makes sense because it looks blue, like water. Never had a flush to the toilet. Flushing hand. I love this chair. I don't know why. It was really hard to do. It doesn't even look like a chair, it's just cool looking. <laughs> But yeah guys, this was just a quick little mod review. If you want to see more like this, let me know and I will make sure to get back to you and post more mod reviews as soon as I can. And if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you dudes next video. Bye! Yeah.